Could changing clocks be a thing of the past? The U.S. Senate wants to keep daylight saving time year-round, approving a bill unanimously that would make it permanent across the country next year. ABC's Andrew Dimber reports. This morning, the U.S. is one step closer to making daylight saving time permanent. Pardon the pun, but this is an idea whose time has come. In a rare show of bipartisanship, the Senate giving unanimous consent to the Sunshine Protection Act. If we can get this passed. We don't have to keep doing this stupidity anymore. The bill would end the practice of turning clocks back one hour to standard time each November. A recent poll shows 63 percent of Americans support eliminating the seasonal time change. Senators took turns Tuesday bashing the annual practice of falling back. We have sunset in Rhode Island at 4.15. 4.15. Any parent who has worked so hard to get a newborn or a toddler on a regular sleeping schedule understands the absolute chaos changing our clocks creates, and for no good reason. Some cheering when the bill passed with no objection. Uh, yes. But the bill still needs approval from the House. An aide for House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer says meetings on the issue have been positive and says we are looking at the Senate pass bill closely. It wouldn't be the first time the U.S. has adopted daylight saving time for the entire year. We tried it back in 1974, but the change only lasted less than a year after outrage from parents who didn't want to send their kids to school in the dark. And there are mixed opinions from scientists. Some argue permanent daylight saving time would make us more productive, but others say darker evenings and brighter mornings are better for our sleep habits and our health. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News.